Hey everyone, this is Jesse from DarkStormReviews.com and welcome to Movies and Talks, take one. Uh, this is a little vlog thing I plan on doing every Wednesday, I hope, where I'll just be blah blah blahing about movies I've seen in theaters, Netflix, uh, Blu-rays I've picked up, and whether or not I think you should pick them up too. So, let's get going. Uh, first up is Riddick, in this nice shiny foil cover here. Uh, this is the first Blu-ray that I bought in 2014. Not going to say too much about the movie itself, other than I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than Chronicles, which I thought was a little too long and a little too much. Um, Pitch Black is still the superior of the three films, um, but Riddick was still fun. Uh, I liked his uh, dog companion uh, in the film, and uh, as for the Blu-ray, uh, the image quality is amazing. It's super sharp and detailed. Same goes for the sound. Looks great, sounds great. It's a little lacking in the uh, extras, unfortunately. Um, there's no commentary track, which really disappointed me. I, I'm always really disappointed when there's no commentary track, because I really enjoy those. Um, the rest of the features, they're kind of like your standard, uh, you know, behind the scenes making of featurettes. And they're good, but they're all pretty short. Um, so that was unfortunate. Uh, but if you do like this movie, if you like the series, if you like the character, uh, I would still recommend picking it up. Um, it's just a little disappointing in the extras department. Uh, next up is Machete Kills. Uh, this movie just put a huge smile on my face the whole time. Uh, it's extremely over-the-top, ridiculous, cartoony even, um, with gore. <laughs> Uh, and that's kind of why some people didn't like it as much as the first one. Um, it was just too silly for some people, but I loved it. I was thoroughly entertained throughout the whole thing. I love Charlie Sheen, or sorry, Carlos Estevez, uh, as uh, President of the United States. He was hysterical. Um, unfortunately, just like uh, the Riddick Blu-ray, though, uh, kind of lacking in the extras department. There's no commentary track, um, a lot of kind of standard uh, behind the scenes making of featurettes, which they're good. And there's some extended scenes, although the extended scenes, uh, what the extra stuff that you're actually getting in there is usually just a few seconds and it's kind of no big deal. Um, so that was a little disappointing too. Um, but again, you know, if you like the movie, then then, then definitely buy it. Um, I mean, I'm gonna watch this again and again and again. Uh, it's extremely entertaining. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I cannot wait for the next one. Machete kills again in space. Uh, they have the trailer made for this already. Um, he's in, and the ending of this movie leads right in uh, to the next one in space with Machete going into space. And I love the I I love the way it was shot. I love the uh, kind of like uh, late seventies, early eighties laser gun blast effects, like very much like the old Battlestar Galactica. The laser blasts look look just like that, and the image is all uh, you know dirty and, and and scratched up. I hope the whole movie ends up looking like that. Uh, Machete Kills does not. Um, it looks nice and clean. Um, but I, ho I hope Machete Kills Again in Space is all dirty and scratched up. Um, uh, I can't wait for that. Mel Gibson was good too. I, I enjoyed him as well. Um, yeah. And most recently, I picked up Never Sleep Again, The Elm Street Legacy. There's this on two discs. So you can see there. Um, this apparently came out in 2010 on DVD, but I did not know about it somehow. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Uh, but it just came out on uh, Blu-ray um, about two weeks ago, something like that. Yeah. Um, and the documentary itself on all of the Elm Street films, uh, up to Wes Craven's New Nightmare, um, and Freddy vs. Jason includes that as well. Um, and it has everybody, as many people as could be gathered from the films, directors, effects people, actors, uh, y like you name it. Uh, Alice Cooper's in there, <laughs> which is great. 
Uh, no Johnny Depp, unfortunately, and no uh, Patricia Arquette, but that's not really surprising. Um, but the documentary itself is about four hours. I think it's like three hours and 15 minutes. Uh, but then there's a commentary track on top of that, which is kind of weird for a documentary to have a commentary track. I listened to about half of it, and it's actually pretty entertaining. There's a lot of background information in there from, from the documentary makers. Um, and then there's a second uh, extras disc, 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 uh, which has a ton of stuff uh, on it. Extended interviews. I wish all the extended interviews were in the actual documentary because they were all very interesting, extra bits. Uh, that's very long. That's about an hour and forty minutes, I think. I think it's about yeah, I think so. Uh, so it's, that that's very long just itself. And then there's uh, a feature on uh, on the glove and. Heather Langenkamp stuff, and uh, geez, I can't even remember. There's a lot of stuff on it. It's great. Um, what else do we got here? Nightmare on Elm Street in 10 minutes, where a bunch of the actors uh, reenact uh, some of their more famous uh, scenes and lines and stuff. Um, the whole documentary is extremely informative. It's exhaustive. It's really outstanding. If you're a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, you need to pick that up. And 1428 Films, who made Never Sleep Again, uh, more recently made Crystal Lake Memories, uh, which came out, I think, in October of 2013. Uh, I picked it up in November, and that runs six hours and 40 minutes, also has a commentary track. Um, no extras, but I mean, that's okay. I mean, it's six hours and 40 minutes, um, plus the commentary. That's 13 hours and 20 minutes, a lot of material. Um, it's amazing, again, if you're a fan of Friday the 13th and or Nightmare on Elm Street, like I am a huge fan of both, you need to pick up both of those. They're just incredible. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'm Jesse from darkstormreviews.com. Thanks for watching and see ya.